Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. All right. So if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Chanel. I am with Lizzie's Charm and I offer a plethora of service you can check services. You can check that out below in the description box. Okay. And um if you're coming back, welcome back. Thank you for being here. And we're gonna get into a weekly reading. All right. So what we're gonna do, we are going to pull some cards by element, earth, air, fire water all right and see what's going on i'm also going to talk a little bit about uh the sun transiting in the human design gates and what it is that's meaning for us what that's bringing forward for us and um kind of what influence that's offering us you know so currently right now but the sun is transiting in gate 43 and the hexagram for that is the siding. So this has a lot to do about making decisions and the making decisions within this has a lot to do with listening, right? Listening to our, that inner voice, our intuition, really being connected with that, okay? Um, this is in our Anja center, right? So basically our third eye, so connecting with our inner vision, our inner voice, right? Um, our inner insight and allowing that to support us in moving forward with um, where it is that we're going, right? By tapping into our own internal wisdom. Okay, so I'll talk a little bit about like the negative and the positive aspects of it. So um, on the positive, this is like a universal wisdom. This is being connected into the divine consciousness, right? Um, but this is also your lived wisdom and carrying that out, walking with that and growing from that, right? And um, it's about, you know, really staying true to who it is that you are based off of your experience, what it is that you know, your knowledge, your knowing, right? And the wisdom is offered you in um, really having a type of life that you want, right? living a life that's going to bring you peace, that's going to bring you a uh, resolute and resolve and um, feel good, you know, that comes from the wisdom from my past experiences. And this is being activated. Uh, we're actually about to come up out of this on the 17th. Watch what you're doing, please. Um, on the 17th, we'll be moving into another day, which I'll talk about in a second. And so, the negative aspect, the negative side of this is listening to other people's wisdom over your own. Okay, so uh, maybe you could get caught up in, in, you know, telling a friend about what it is that you have going on, you know, and they're offering you this insight, but that, that shit don't feel right. Some ain't right about this. This is not adding up, but you still take it and it brings something that you don't necessarily want. All right, so that's what aligning to the negative perspective of things does for us. It usually um, manifests realities that we don't want, that don't work, don't serve us, don't, that we just don't want. When we could have just listened to ourselves, you know, and, you know, being in that space like, oh, I know I should have, like, we ain't got to go there if we don't need to. And most of the time we don't. But this is a lot about developing trust, trust within ourselves, having that faith. It's a lot about faith here, right? Having faith that what you're getting, what you're receiving, who it is that you are is enough, right? And it's going to lead you true. Okay, so on the 17th, which is what, Thursday, the sun will be moving into the, into gate 14. Um, and it'll be there for like five to six days. And so this gate is, it's a gate of power, right? It is considered and also, let me go back. I don't know what line this is at because I didn't pull up the the actual chart. So I can't tell y'all like how it's actually manifesting. But next week, I'll be more thorough. Okay, so the next gate, this is, um, it's a gate of power skills, right? The hexagram in I Ching is the great possession, right? So this is fortune um, or more so success being created from what it is that you have been doing. And it's coming from, it's almost seeming like it's coming out of nowhere, but it's not. It's from you having put in the effort, put in the energy, the footwork. After this, do not drink anymore, okay? You know, my son's right here. Okay, so 
Um, and this is about creating prosperity based on doing what it is that you love, right? From source, right? Because what it is that we truly love, what it is that we truly want in our life is divinely given. It is a soul work that's taking place, right? So it's like, okay, I've been consistent doing this. I'm putting in this effort. I really love to do this. Or maybe what you're doing, you're learning to love that. And from that, it's garnering you a sense of success that you are really wanting, that you're truly desiring, right? So um, it's really, you know, follow your dreams so that you can create a, you know, true prosperity in your life, right? And prosperity is an umbrella, right? It's not just money. It's not just material things. Like you can be prosperous in knowledge, prosperous in love, in all of those things. So when it comes to this type of stuff, like don't get caught up in, oh, it just needs to be this way, right? Because it's multitude of ways that it can be, you know? So yes, let's go a little bit into it. So it's a good time to really pay attention to your dreams. If you don't have a dream journal, keep that because it's, it's giving you answers, insight, guidance, right? Maybe something in reference to what it is that you love that you want to do is coming through. Pay attention to these things. I will be posting a post on dreams um, and giving y'all a worksheet y'all can do this week, probably come on Friday. Um, don't quote me because it might be before that, all right, because I'm already working on it. It might be tomorrow. Either way, yes, take a uh, take record of your dreams. Keep record of your dreams. Figure out what the signs and the symbols mean to you, right? What they represent to you, okay? And what does that feel like to you? So but I'll get more into that in that whole dream post. So, um. This is about also our resources, right? And making sure that we're generating that. So like this can be a, a new, say for instance, you got a new job and all of a sudden you're like, wow, I really love this job. And it's giving me what it is that I need in order to create the life it is that I want kind of energy, you know? So um, yes, that is a thing. And this is Scorpio and Sagittarius energy in when is it? The Mercury and Venus will be moving into Sagittarius very soon. I don't know. Maybe it's already there. I'm not sure. I haven't looked. But um, this is in the sacral center, right? So this is that life, our battery that keeps us going, right? So if you have an open sacral center, make sure that you're taking time to ebb and flow when you need it. And even if you have a defined sacral center, do take yeah, look, if you need a break, take it. Like, know when enough is enough kind of thing. But y'all usually don't have that issue of knowing when enough is enough. It's usually the open sacral centers that's needing to hear something like that. So with this particular uh, gate, it speaks about um, the positive end of it is the energy of prosperity, dream work, and inspiration. It shows you the path for making money by following your dreams. On the negative end, it's getting stuck in the fear that you won't be able to make your dreams come true. This can create a life where you feel stuck doing things you hate for the sake of making money, okay? And that it has a lot to do with being tied in because this gate creates an entire channel with our identity center, right? So it's about, it's fully about you. Who are you? Who are you showing up as? Like, who you choosing to show up as for real like right because you really don't have to be in one core aspect of yourself or one core expression of being like we're always changing faces we're always changing roles right so what role is it that you love that is going to allow you to really be able to make money for real all right so that's what's going on with this sun transit in the human design all right, and so first we're going to go ahead and pull some cards collectively. All right, and I'm just going to pull a few, and then we are going to get into the elements. So let's 
it's, it's like I'm getting that things are being released, right? You know, like a purification is taking place. A lot of halos. Yeah, making a decision, choosing the pathway, you know, which direction it is that's, you know, going to serve, going to create growth and a uh, constant flow and movement. Um, that's interesting. So last night when I decided that I was going to, um, do this, that song, what's that song by Fergie, Big Girls Don't Cry came on and it was about like her separating from a relationship out of the sake of the fact that she needs that for herself, right? Um, needs that to grow. She's growing like it's a part of her path and that's what I'm really, really getting here. Um, that there are some things that are being left behind simply for the sake of the benefit of self, right? The growth of self. It's like, yes, there may be some room for you, but uh, this is a, a lonely, this is a long journey, right? A journey of the self, that I put here. Because what it's, it's, we're not so relationships, right? That's what I was talking about. <laughs> um, this is the lover's card and this has a lot to do, you know, the giving and the receiving, but the giving and the receiving within and recognizing who it is that we are uh, from a whole perspective, not leaving anything out, allowing things to be as they may and what it is that they are and uh, allowing activation to take place from the root of self, right? So that we can really go forth and uh, choose the right path that is ours, right? What what is what are our guides? What are our angels, right? If you want to call it that, um, what are they saying to us, right? Because it, it's time for us to uh stop being so focused on fruitless endeavors, things that are not serving. This is seven material, seven coins, right? So the things that are and maybe it has been fruitless for us to be seeing things from a black or white perspective. Like where, where, where's the gray area? Are you willing to see things from a middle path perspective that um, no direction is the wrong direction. It's just whichever one it is that works for you. What creates flow and movement in your life? What allows you to be yourself? What allows you to do you how it is that you want to do you? We may be seeing this broadcasted in some sense when it comes to, because we just recently had the elections and I feel like Texas still don't know who they govern. Is. I don't know. I haven't been keeping up with that, but what, whichever, like what is playing out, what's taking place is like coming to the space of like whatever it is that we didn't want that's manifesting. We just have to like, okay, I'm not going to keep nurturing and nourishing this negativity. I'm not going to continue uh, sitting around just gossiping and mulling over things that do not necessarily serve me in any kind of shape, way, or form. Like, what is it that's going to create life in my life, right? You don't want to continue overwatering something that's good. Eventually, you do have to give it space for the sun to nourish and feed it. So, like, the soil has to dry up some eventually because if you overwater it, it will drown. Right. So this is also about uh, recognizing where it is that we're putting our time and energy into uh, what exists in our life. Maybe there's something that can't necessarily be um, moved beyond yet at this point. Right. There may be, you know, a situation that we just have to experience at this time. Right. So. But this is also OK, getting you have the ability to make things the way that you want them to, right? But if you continue to be in this space, right, this, this subconscious space of uh, operating from places that 
have been traumatic for for you, right? It's time to let this go, right? Maybe there have been some things that you have, um, or as a society, as a collective, that we have been continuing to trying to give, give, give to, and it's not being received well, right? Or something that has been trying to be given to us that's not being received well, and that is time to move on from that and knowing that there is something different, that there is another path, that there is uh, something else that we do not yet know, right? And choosing to learn that, right? Wow. Yeah. Because the advice we have is the muse of voices, right? So the muse of voices speaks about us um, really tapping into that inner place right? This is that inner space of being, that knowing who it is that we are, connecting with our own personal sense of wisdom, connecting with what it is that we know and whatever it is that we don't know. It's a good time to learn that, right? Um, seeing things from a very balanced perspective as well, like hearing ego trip. So if you've been caught up in your ego about what it is that, um, so it seems like that there's been something that's been trying to be forced out of the fact, like in, on a physical level, out of the fact that your ego or our ego, right, because it's collective, um, it's wanting something going to, to a particular way, right, and it hasn't been working. And it's like, okay, if that's not working, what else can we do? How else can we go about it? Maybe you need to change your language. Maybe you need to change your approach, right? Maybe you need less water. Maybe you need some different type of uh, plant food, right? What is it that's different that's needed? Does everything need to be thrown away? Can Is there no longer any growth here at all, right? What is it that you need to be aware of, okay? Is um, taking some time to get still in the mind as well, like not allowing things to overthrow uh, and paying attention to what it is that the steps that are being taken and what these steps are. Like, how are they feeling, right? How do, how do they feel and what is it that they're inspiring within us and are we willing to move forward and um, embrace, the, what, embrace the action that's needing to be taken from the inspiration? Okay. Yeah. But... You know, the choices that we make, we're going to make the right choices. We're going to do what it is that's needing to be done. We are going to connect with those who we need to connect with. We are going to be seen who we need to be seen by. We are going to follow our truth our, and trust in ourselves, right? Connecting with our I amness, right? Because this is the four of inspiration, the four of wands, right? So that is success taking place. That is, that is happening, being happening. <laughs> Okay, so let's see what else is here. What else did you see here? So I like this. My hands are so little. Balance. All right, so we are finding, uh, again, very strong sense of justice taking place. So like if there's some type of court proceeding that uh, is going on for you and you have been like concerned about it, feeling fruitless in it, feeling defeated in it, like it is definitely um, about to turn out in your favor how it is. So it's possible that things may not turn out how you expected them to, but the it coming out in a way that you didn't expect it to allows things to move much more slowly, much more effortlessly, it opens space for you to really connect and tap into what it is that you are dreaming of, what it is that you really want, like what your soul wants um, to really connect to within this life, okay? And really, it, it's like your it's going to instill a sense of confidence within you that is not based and bound in ego. Okay, so 
Then we have Marvel and Lisa coming out with Hawks and Power. It is a lot of, this is about balance, balance of the masculine and feminine energy um, that allows us to manifest and saying, this card basically says that the power lies within us. Like we have everything it is that we need within us to be able to create, right? How are you using your mind? What is the conversation going on in your mind, right? That balance is here coming forth um, within our life, within our world, within our conversations, our relationships, our decisions, all right? And accepting things for what it is that they are, right? Letting things go. No more feeding uh, pearls to swine, all right? Who got time? You, I don't, you don't. I mean, I don't know. I don't know who do, who. Sometimes we don't know that we're doing that, right? So, yeah. And at the bottom here, we have Queen Sheba. Secrets are being revealed. So you don't know what it is that you don't know. There are some things coming to light. I think I, did I say that? Maybe I said that at the beginning. No, I'm talking about the human design. So let's see. What is the personal power for the collective this week? Personal power for the collective this week. I am confident. Yeah. Really connecting to this space of confidence that's, you know, unshakable and, you know, recognizing the healer that is within you. You know, whether it is that you are actually into healing work, but we all have the ability to heal ourselves. Like that is that is the human body, the human mind, our emotions, our spirit, our soul is always in a space of um Desiring equilibrium that's going to have us feeling good within our world, within um, within what it is that we desire, what we want for ourselves, you know. So when things are going awry, when things are going negatively, that is um, that is the healing that's taking place. And us following the steps of what it is that's needing to be done is the healer in us making strides, making moves to make that manifest in the way. Uh, I don't like that word manifest. Um, make that come about, I guess, is the best way I can put it. So what is the, um, what's the self-care for the collective self-care? Hair. I don't know if it's because I was just playing with my hair or something, but maybe some of us um, are needing to uh, get our hair done, take care of our hair, comb our hair, wash our hair. Maybe it's wash day, wash week for some of us. Um, maybe you getting a new style. Maybe you getting a haircut. Maybe you getting some color. Okay, maybe even this has to do with your receptivity to the divine and you connecting with that in a way that is authentic to you. Right, what does that look like? Um, definitely recognizing gifts, receiving gifts this week as well from others. Um, maybe you're receiving a gift from a healer that you know. Okay, so yes, you guys, that is the collective message. We are going to go ahead and move on to the elements. The first element we are going to do, I'm hearing earth. So we're going to get into the earth sign. I'll be right I had Earth sign, so for Virgo, Capricorn, you know, check for your sun, moon, and rise, or any other predominant um, energies that you have within the elements. If you know that, if not, you know, maybe you want to listen to all, we have all the signs within us, so they all may resonate in time, the way shows are formed. Okay. So. Let's get into this. What messages do you have for the these earth signs? Seeing clouds. Like they came out of nowhere. But they're white clouds. They're not gray. It's like clouds. Something in reference to your thoughts. How it is that you're thinking. 
maybe there's some clarity being had taking place within your mind as we are signed. Feeling full, full, yet spring at the same time. Mm -hmm. So there may be something in the mental space that is that is time so that is clearing, right? Letting go of thoughts that are not necessarily true, right? You may see them or believe them to be true, but that may not necessarily be the case. Um, kind of like uh, a rabbit in its wheel, you know. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so Okay, yeah. All right. So what's coming out here first is the nine of voices. So the nine of voices is the nine of swords. So perhaps this has a lot to do with, um, you know, kind of like having this rabbit mind in a sense, like needing to let go of uh, any type of subconscious anything, any type of old patterns, thought forms that are continuously um oh, okay so it's something ancestral is what i'm getting like something that may have been passed down in the family of seeing and perceiving things in a certain way right and you may think that oh i just do this this is how i am this is how i think when in reality or you could even be mistaking these nine of voices for your intuition right but in reality it's being based in fear Okay, so it's not about like you, how you feel is what's needing to be tapped into, right? So to get a very clear understanding, it's almost as if that you have this psychic awareness that's trying to manifest, but you are keeping it hidden, um, keeping it cloaked. It's almost like I don't want to say it's a, it may be an unintentional cloaking of um, what it is that's actually taking place out of the fact that you keep holding on to this way of thought, this way of perceiving, this way of seeing, this way of that you think you understand things, right? This may be, you, it may be like, like, I know this, I know kind of thing, but it's like old, right? It's old and um, these eclipses may have shown you a lot within yourself, uh, especially surrounding your fears when it comes to your relationships, right? And that may have a lot to do with this. You're needing to let go of the ties that uh, keep you asleep, right? It's almost like what I'm getting is like uh, somebody who like I'm woke I know I'm aware but in reality like no you're actually a little bit uh, delusional you're not seeing things clearly um it's unwarranted like there's some there's some healing that's needing to take place within the dynamic of your mind of your mental state and how it is that you're going about putting your thoughts together right because You think that you need to leave something behind, someone behind, something behind, when in reality, what you need to leave behind is how you're seeing things, how you're perceiving things. There needs to be a change in the way that you are going about. It's like you need to open your eyes so that you can see very clearly because it's creating jagged, like it's shattered. There's some, some shattered aspect of yourself that's taking place that is expressing and manifesting itself like there's maybe something it, it's a perception thing it's a vision thing you know like waves of frequency a flow that's trying to be trying to take place but it's being stopped by this mind there's some healing that's 
taking place to you is something in reference to the sacral chakra. Maybe it has something to do with your career, how it is that you're going about creating something and it's not working for you anymore. It's, it's, it's not what you're creating. It's the way in which it is that you're going about creating. It's the way in which it is that you're thinking about what it is that you're creating. You know, and it's important for you to tap into this Empress energy. Okay. Tap into this Empress energy. It's like relax, fall back, take a break, take a minute, right? Enjoy life. Right. Can you what do you need to do to feel good? What do you need to do to nourish yourself, to take care of yourself? Maybe you need an astrology reading. OK, um, so that you can connect with yourself oh, I... on all levels and all, all, all platforms, all realms kind of thing. Right. Maybe you need to see yourself from a planetary aspect to understand what is what and why is what. OK. Because it seems like there's a disconnect from your sense of self-worth, your sense of value, what it is that you value. Maybe you are not aligned to your principles. Maybe you're not living out your principles. That may be a thing that needs to take place, right? And you're caught up in your mind trying to say or see that it's in one particular way. Like there's a refinement that is trying to take place here. So what will serve you best is some meditation, right? Taking a break, relaxing, some self-care, right? Just just stop the thought process. Stop. Just stop. Like, <laughs> whatever you're doing, just stop, right? Because it's going to come to, it's going to stop itself, right? So whether this is you not seeing your work, you are in, in the midst of trying to create something or Maybe there is a pregnancy here. Maybe you are trying to get pregnant and you um, are believing subconsciously that there is something going on with you and your womb, your, um, and your sacral chakra. Maybe there is something ancestral tied to the womb space and um, that's coming to light, coming to surface so that you can work through that and release that. All right, but it's going to be found within the stillness of your mind. It's not going to be anything that's happening outside of you. Um, it's going to happen within. It's going to take place through a transformation within you, right? So that you can come back and see clearly this may have this strong Saturn energy here, right? So maybe some of you are going through your Saturn return. Maybe this is a remnant of that. Maybe this even has to do something in reference to Saturn being in Aquarius right now and you needing to free yourself from some old structure, some old um, some old corporate idea or way of going about doing something. All right, maybe you need to free yourself so that you can flow. Okay, so let's see what else. What are the messages that we have here for the earth? Okay, wow. Okay, our friend. So we have sleep here. So it's time for you to get you some rest. Maybe you're not sleeping well at night. Maybe you are even, maybe you're just not sleeping well. Maybe there's something that you were asleep to, right? I think I mentioned something about in reference to, oh, you know, I'm aware of this. I'm woke to this in reality. Like there's something here that is saying actually no you are your eyes are closed you're not even aware of what it is that's taking place okay um again it's really important dreams seem to be really important right now 
right? So connecting with what it is that your dreams are. Do you even really know what that is? But also connecting with your sleep, your dreams in your sleep realm, right? What is that for you? What does that mean? What do these signs and symbols mean? What are these messages trying to tell you? Are you really paying attention? Are you listening? Are you witnessing? Are you observing? Are you taking um, time to see what it is? There's like something something you're not even hearing like you may even be like a very clear audience person and are not paying attention to what it is that you are hearing you may be like disconnecting from it um and that's what i'm saying this psychic awareness that's trying to come through and you are it seems like disconnected from it it's almost as if you continue to try to um, do some healing surrounding your emotions and it, it really doesn't have anything to do with your emotions. Um, it has to do with how it is that you're going about thinking about things, especially this could even be something in reference to your how you look, right? You may be feeling some kind of way about that um, and not really seeing the beauty in who it is that you are, how you are, okay? Um, it's important to be getting grounded as well and really taking time to uh, see where it is that you're connected with that, right? So I had mentioned something about pregnancy. So pregnancy happens in the root chakra, right? So if you are having a difficult time getting pregnant, it's something in reference to the root chakra, right? So someplace that you are not feeling stable, that you're not feeling grounded, this has to do with something about the blood moon I don't know it could just be your menstrual cycle in general maybe you're needing to connect more with that and um I don't know do some healing surrounding the womb even it just could even have to do with something in reference to the blood to your blood your bloodline okay uh somebody is here trying to talk to you trying to express to you and share with you what it is that you need to see, but it's like the, the hearing, your ability to hear is like far off in the distance out of the fact that you won't open up. Whatever messages do we have here for these earth signs? All right, because it's keeping you in this space of the bottom we have hell. So in this that, that hell is coming from you not paying attention, all right? Because even at the bottom here, we've got the four of emotions, right? So this is about self-awareness, knowing who it is that you are, really connecting to you, um, like your lack of interest in yourself and not on like no surface, nothing, but like your lack of interest to go, to go there, to really be there with you like facing it all facing the shits right maybe there's some something it had something to do ancestrally we have um sour lapali she speaks about divine lineage so this is about your ancestors there is a, a female ancestor here trying to connect with you um it's definitely it's a mind it's all in your mind kind of thing um third eye mind connection to the divine consciousness right and it's almost as if like you're not allowing yourself to be crowned you're not allowing yourself to succeed you're not allowing yourself to like fully be you she she got this look on her face like are you listening are you do you hear me do you do you do you see me do you feel me you feel me what are you chained to what are you bound to where is it within what, what are you not confident about what are you afraid of what what fears are you holding on to that are keeping you dense that are keeping you drowning in emotion right what is this emotion what are you really feeling what are you really feeling, okay? What are you really feeling? I'm get grounded for sure. Okay. What else do we have here for earth signs? Where is the power for the earth signs? 
interpersonal power or some I speak highly of myself. Do you love yourself? Right? You are safe. You are worthy. You are blessed. You are, you can do anything. All right. You can make anything happen. You can create constant miracles in your life. You can bring healing forth in your life. There is no limit. There, there's needing some structure is needing. Right. So I had mentioned about um things feeling like maybe focused on this corporate aspect of things. But maybe some structure is what is going to elevate you. It's great to have a, a free, sovereign way of being, but if it's not, um, the discipline is where we find our real sovereignty. Which can be difficult to accept up there. Yeah. Somebody you need to connect with, someone you need to talk to, who can help you, who, who will listen to you, right? Um, that gift at the bottom as well. Somebody is offering you something, giving you something, or, or, or helping you see, remember how blessed you are. You may be connecting with the gift with inside of you. Maybe someone you talk to is reminding you of who you are, right? Because really all of this is just a remembering. It was just remembering. Um, and when we connect with others, they help us remember who we are, right? Where we at, where we got, where we going, who we were, you know, kind of thing. So, yeah, Earth Times, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. I hope that this is helpful to you. Um, and so let me know, you know, and I will talk to you all soon. So, we're going to do an air sign next. So, we're going to see what method is that you need at this time. What is it that the earth nice needs to know? Spirit, that's it, guys. Okay. You like machinery? Tech, technical, being very technical, being efficient in how maybe you are very efficient, being recognized, being seen within your efficiency, your assignment, your capabilities. Going, going upstream, climbing new heights, Feeling through sorry, something new, something learning about something that's bringing you more material abundance. Right? This is literally about money, finances, home, uh, you know, possessions, values, and so forth. Yeah, you're beyond any type of poverty mind, any type of really you tapped into a new way of going about uh, gaining. Yeah. Because what this is doing for you is allowing you to, um, like, maybe there's something that you have to create some ideas, right? Some inspirations that you've been really wanting to. Uh, make a real thing and you are about to come into the space to be able to make that happen how you wow that's amazing okay air signs so moving into a new space right uh creating beauty from having the right mind right following your wisdom letting your wisdom guide you through um knowing that your experience has been leading you to the place it is that you need to be all this time, right? So it's putting you at a new trajectory, a new, a new level for real, right? Starting something, you 
probably have to learn some things here, but it's not going to be very long because it's going to put you into this space of receiving, really, because you are coming out of this impoverishment, right? Feeling like you ain't got enough, feeling like that um, you always grasping for straws, feeling like that this is five of materials, right? So um, no longer uh, seeing any type of destruction within like like that period, maybe you're coming out this period where you would have something and then it'll be gone kind of thing. Like you're coming out of that, right? And um, you are, it is definitely, you know, a hand of God, honestly. Um, Like, no longer feeling like when you got at your lowest, you're being pushed even further down, right, from wherever it is that you already are. Okay, the change has been brought. It's being made, you know, you are in a much more um, journeying into a much more confident space when it comes to what it is that you have, what it is that you have to spend, what it is that you have to live with, like, what it is that you have to wear, even if it's something as simple as that, but even more so um, giving you the opportunity to create, to feel fulfilled, right? To feel in a light, feel a light type of way, right? This is Ace of Emotion. So this is the beginning of <clears throat> maybe a new relationship. Um, maybe you are uh, just a new path, a new way of feeling in general, tapping into that, connecting with that, and living that, right? There is, it, it's healed. You are healed. Like, there's no healing happening. You are healed. The healing has taken place. And from that, you are receiving um, the ultimate space, I guess we can say, to uh, pull out and manifest and nourish the way we want how we want right our our gifts our talents right and following our intuition maybe you are about to be um you may even be receiving uh, some new creative endeavors getting involved in some new creative endeavors right and um this may be something a little foreign to you in some aspects but uh, it is going to be plentiful, right? It's a, it's a plentiful kind of whatnot, all right? So the outcome we have is the Ace of Inspiration. With the Ace of Inspiration, this is new inspirations. This is the Ace of Wands, okay? So this is you having the ability to start something new, having this uh, exciting sense of vigor, right? Things are moving quickly, Right, this new start is moving quickly into what it is that you have been desiring. Your desires are being met, right? This ace for ace of inspiration, he's looking at this ace of emotions who is receiving this insight, this guidance, this um this godly knowing, right? This divine consciousness. And it's here flowing into her and allowing her third eye to create the vision it is that um, she is desiring for her. So how she sees herself, right? How she sees her life, okay? What else is here for the inner side? A lot of nourishment here, very being very protective. Make sure that you are guarding yourself by keeping things to yourself that you need to. You don't have to share everything with everyone. Here. So you got the road, you are on the right path. If you were wondering if you're doing the right thing, if you're making the right decisions, if these insights that you are receiving, um, you are on the right path, right? Because it's helping you move away from that grief that if you have been grieving anything, right, you're on the road to coming up out of it, right? Um, maybe perhaps by the next full moon, 
things will start really uh, becoming very full for you. These these new beginnings will start giving the start producing what it is that you are desiring to have. You know, um, sorry night. Maybe at night it will be a good time to create for you uh, in the ways that you want. But a new new life is dawning for you, right? It, it's is it's very new. <laughs> it's very new. It's like a, like a fool's journey for real, right? And you being able to move forward from a heart-based perspective, right? Following your heart, letting that guide you with the, um, any the those remnants of what was, right? And leaving that behind so that you can grow what is here. What else is here for the air sign? What's this here? You have y'all see you live out loud. So it's not for you to do you. Share your voice. Say what you want to say. You got to speak up here, right? You, it's your time, right? To be seen, for your voice to be heard, okay? For you to do what it is you feel that you want to do. Right, um, for you to really connect in ways that you want to connect in, in innocent ways, right? So, um, being more so open hearted, right? Forgiving, letting go, and, and just moving forward from your own place, your own standpoint of what it is that you are needing in your world or desiring in your world, right? It's a time to have a good time. For real, it's stop taking things so seriously. What's the self care? Sensuality. Maybe you need to have a good time. <laughs> Maybe you need to really have a good time. All right. You need to have a good time. Tap into your senses. All right. Maybe, maybe you need to get laid as well. I don't know your life. What I do know is, is that it's a good time for you to get, have a good time. It's a good time for you to know that it feels good to feel good. It is. Goodness, I will take this one. I have permission. No one has to give you permission except for you, right? Just do it. What are you doing? Just do it. What do you want to do? Just do it. You know, it's that time. You ready? You ready to make it true, make it real, make it go, make it happen. You know, um, because you are building something new and really being tapped into how you feel about everything, right, is what is going to guide you. Because emotions and inspiration are both very sense-based, right? How do I feel? Right. What do I want? What's feeding me? What's nourishing me? Um, what feels good? What makes me feel alive in my body? Thing, you know. So, yeah, air signs. I hope that uh, serves you well. Those are your messages. And yeah, let me know. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, water signs. So, let's get to your messages. See what's going on for you this week. See what it is that you are needing to know right now. What will serve you? What advice or guidance that spirit, your ancestors have for you at this time? A lot of times, ancestors working with my scenes. Something to rejoice about. There's some irritation being moved out of the way, and that was getting on your nerves. <laughs> Lot of signs. Something that you've been trying to get away from. It's like bring space for something else to come in. Yeah, wow. So, whatever it is that wasn't working, like a radical shift is taking place. Um, it's an undoing, atonement is happening. Yeah. What else is here?
Okay, so um, there is like a radical change in where what what what's happening. What's what's taking place is um, I don't want to say that you were falling off of your pedestal, but whatever pedestal it was that you thought something was going to, what you thought was going to serve you, you're realizing it's not like, like that wouldn't it, whatever you thought it wasn't it, whatever, um, this doesn't feel like a bad power. It, you already expected this, you knew this needed to happen, um, but you wasn't sure when it was going to happen, how it was going to happen, when it was going to take place. Okay. Um, Mars being in Gemini might have a big to do about this. So wherever that is, if you are aware in your astrology chart, you might want to check that out and see um, because it is it's changing your circumstances, your your reality in a way that um, it's going to provide a lot of options, right? So right now. This is Queen of Inspiration, which is the Queen of Wands. So um, what I'm getting is that there's actually some work that needs to be done, right? It's something that you're going to have to do. You're, it's not about necessarily being in. Um, you're going to have to create the circumstances or whatever. You're going to have to build these things by building. Right? It's not something that you can just dream up and it's going to come to you and receive. All right. Um, you will get to that point, but right now that is not it. All right. Give it some time to get there. All right. Because you have to pick up the pieces. You have to recognize what has to be swept away. All right. What is it that um, this is more of a mental thing for you? It's not a, a matter of intuition. It's not a matter of your instincts. You're going to have to think this through, right? Because here we have the seven of voices. So this is about making sure that you are in a space where your thoughts are not sabotaging you. You're not in a space of self-sabotage. Making sure that you are um, um, watching out. You may have some people around you who you can't trust in a sense. Um But in reality, you may need to be being as swift and as quick as a fox. This may have to go very quickly, happen very quickly. Um, and so that you can get to the other side of these things. It's like there's no hesitation that's needing to be taking place here. All right. It, what I'm getting is like you're in a realm of miracles. And it's important for you to make sure that you're thinking clearly and seeing things clearly. Um, making sure that your mind is in the right place so that you can really figure things out. This is about figuring things out. This is about utilizing your logic, right? And letting that serve you. So um, the way in which that you were putting your thoughts together in the beginning may not have been working and it's a new strategy that's needing to take place, right? A new framework of thought that's needing to happen. Okay. Um, Maybe you realize that I can't I can't just be sitting on this throne and um, letting everything be basked in thrown to me, right? Because in some way it was sabotaging what it is that you actually wanted by just accepting what it is that was coming, you know. Um, and you need to really create a different something with the way by way of your mind. Maybe your mind has wasn't in the past operating in a, a way but you had already knew this you've seen this right um but you have been allowing yourself to let things come to you from this place of thought and it's just like no mm -mm. no but there is some rework that's happening because the outcome that we have here's the seven of emotions. So with the seven of emotions, this is gonna, um, you're gonna have to make the right choice, right? So this is about choices, making the right choices, logic, 
um, using your sense of discernment. Every every choice is not a good choice just because you want it, just because uh, it don't mean it's right for you, right? So it's like, what is it that you can see to be true? What are you actually seeing here, right? You kind of have to, um, it's very great to lead with your feelings. Y'all are very intuitive people, but sometimes our feelings can lead us astray based on whatever it is that they're rooted in. All right, so this is where the discernment has to come in so that we can see things very clearly so that we can relax, relax our emotional state, our emotional nature. And it's also somebody around y'all who is just, mm, I ain't gonna necessarily say that, that, um, that they're sneaky or conniving, but just who it is that they are as a person doesn't suit well for you. Um, it, it deters you. It, it, it has you creating this sense of sabotage that uh, don't work. It's like an air sign or something, or, or it, it's either an air sign or a water sign, another water sign who is always confused, okay, and always in this place of self-sabotage, don't ever know how to really um, put their foot down in reference to anything, like, just don't know how to relax in a sense. Um, I don't know. This can be something, something in reference to a group that you are part of, Perhaps um, somebody may have some really erratic emotions around you and like kind of mental, like unstable, unstable mental. Like they may not necessarily be crazy, but they don't know, can't see up from down, left from right. Yikes. Okay, so let's see what else is here. And maybe this person may not even be around you. They may be at a distance. When you're just seeing you got a bit of curve, I feel like in that in general, you know, you're getting, you're wearing a mask, and you may uh, say something to this person. These are the type of people who you say something to, and like they agree with you. They just automatically agree with you, kind of thing. And it's like they don't necessarily have their own voice right they're using like some form of manipulation how did this become about a person all right so um because i really be trying to keep these readings centered on you but whoever this is um they the type to agree with you um and try to utilize what it is that you said or whatever it is that you offer whatever it is that you're doing right and that's not working for them and in some form of that not working for them is having them secretly feel some kind of way about you water signs okay so with that what is important is for you to do your own thing and let this person do their own thing for real like let them figure it out you got to figure it out they got to figure it out too Feels like a water sign. Or a woman. A very emotional woman. <laughs> An erratically emotional woman. What else is here? You got sleep like earth signs. Maybe you want to go watch the earth uh, video uh, reading too if you haven't. So what I'm getting is the sleep is coming forward with your sense of being very sure in yourself. Um, your ability to see things very clearly, like your true ability to receive, your true ability to create what it is that you want, right? And this is based off of how it is um, that you're seeing things, okay? how you're going about moving like the initiatives that you take maybe you were needing some rest too maybe you need a break from um the people who have been around you you need a break from because it's something that you're needing a higher perspective on um it's something 
something in a song. Maybe you will be hearing something. Music is going to be important for you this week. So listen, like, so when you with certain people, pay attention to what songs come up when you're around them. You know, what what are these words saying? How are they, more importantly, how is it making you feel? Right? What is it triggering within you? And like, there may be some man around you to be trying to wake up as well, like trying to have them see things from a different perspective and look, they sleep. <laughs> they are asleep, okay? They're very stuck in doing things, how they doing things, you know? And it's important that you kind of just let them be sleepy, yo, how they be sleepy, okay? Um, because no matter what you say, like there is like this, their mind, in a sense, is is not letting them see things, see anything more than where it is that they are out of their choice of not being willing to change their mind, right? And maybe in a sense, that may be a portion of what is the self-sabotage that's coming through for you, okay? Because it's, this is really about a new rebirth happening for you, Um Maybe wearing the color brown is important for you this week as well. Something with the color brown too. Let's see what else is here. I'm just keep looking at that card. What else is here for the water sign? What are the messages here for the water sign? That's the sun. So. Whatever you do, don't, this is not about, again, it's not about your instincts. It's about your logic and your understanding, your knowing. What do you know? What do you know that works? It's something that's needing to be woken up to. How is your sleep right now? Are you paying attention to your dreams? Dreams are really important. What are your dreams? What are your waking dreams? What are your night dreams? because you are very sensitive sensitive to the steps it is that you're needing to move sensitive to the wisdom it is that you hold um sensitive about feeling like that you are not ahead more ahead than you desire to be but that is coming from this other energy you gotta be paying attention to the people you have around you yeah to coming into this space of liberation queen mother nancy all right, so you cutting out the bullshit for real, like it's like I'm I'm done. Like I gotta wake up, I gotta get out this slumber, I gotta get out this sleep, I gotta free myself. I gotta come into this place of balance. That balance is happening, it's taking place. You are harmonizing uh that masculine and feminine energy within you so that you can move forward in a way that offers you freedom. Liberating yourself from just everything. Like you are making the call. You're about to be calling the shot. <laughs> I am ready. You're ready. You're ready to do this. You are a creator. All right. And it's important that you realize how your mind is creating that which you are creating with this fitness. Maybe it's a good time to work out. Maybe you want to do some, uh, what is it called? High intense hit fitness, whatever that is. Or maybe you just want to join the gym. You want to make sure you're taking care of yourself. Um, go, go have a piece of cake to go get you a fruit salad. I don't know what kind of things that make you feel good, that you feel treated by, but that's the thing, okay? When you are feeling like that, you can't, um, when things are hard to see, movement is what is going to help you. You want to go on the grind, maybe just some a jog, okay? Some power walking even is enough. Um, maybe you want to um, 
just do like some some quick at home fitness, right? That'll be good. If you want to do some uh some vinyasa yoga that's intense, okay, as hell. If you want to do some hatha yoga that's not as intense, but you know, it does thing okay maybe you may even get some ideas uh over a bowl of fruit all right maybe you need some berries maybe you need some antioxidants even to cleanse maybe your blood needs to be cleansed um might need some vitamin d the sun is we in, i'm in northern hemisphere so uh the sun is not as bright as usual as we are in fall and seeming to be quickly going into winter, all right? But um, definitely get outside, get outdoors, okay? Let the, let the wind talk to you. Let the breeze blow through your hair, okay? Um, let it carry you. See where, see which direction the wind is blowing. Follow that and see where it takes you. Just see. All right, water signs. Hope you have a wonderful week. I hope that this message blesses you. If so, let me know how you feeling, you know, y'all interact so I can continue to uh, provide these messages for you because, you know, if I don't get any interaction, it's no point in me. You know, I do this for y'all. So, yeah, I'll talk to y'all soon. What's up, fire signs? My lovely fire signs. My sister and brother was chain fire signs. How are you? For this week. Let's see what messages for what team sisters are behind. Actually, it's hard to flip away. What messages do we have for this? I think the water is at home. Like one of those water jugs that we have in an office, you know, where you get like the have the paper cups. Maybe you just need some water. Maybe you need to keep water on hand. Maybe you need to refresh yourself, hydrate yourself. Maybe you're cleansing your workspace, cleansing the type of work that you are doing, maybe you're even bringing some nourishment to it this way. What messages do you have for fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, for this week? Fire signs. Okay. Oh, fire signs. Okay. So, you're feeling very connected. Everything it is that you need is here. You have it all. You're ready. Um, uh, you're just really ready. You know, you have the ability, you have the knowing, you have the information. You, uh, that oneness is here with you. The understanding. You have the confidence your soul is really ready to create their reality in a way. It's, it's like it's already, it's in a place it is that it's needing to be like, yeah. Wow. You know, and just, you're not focused on anything outside of like where you are and what you're doing is very holy. Right, it's not based in materialism. Mm -hmm. And it's important for you to recognize these things, like go forward how it is that you uh, can tell how you see fit because you, you are ready, you're ready. Yeah, okay, so Wow, fire signs. Okay, so what we have here, this is a magician. All right, so connected to the divine, like really just in this space of um, feeling and doing, right? So there is a balance. You are balanced, right? You um, have, have the ability to uh, 
bring forth any solution. All right, bring forth any manifestation, bring forth any feeling, any thought form, okay, any connection, communication. Um, did I say that already? Any thing that you need for real, like you are uh, really connecting to the sciences of God and, and utilizing that to manifest your reality you know um it may also be a lot of healing taking place for you for this week as well or it is like right? that's what this is you are uh, witnessing a lot of miracles okay things that you thought were going to be forever you see all of a sudden like a radical shift a, a change in by way of you choosing to utilize everything it is that you have within you in trusting right having the faith moving forward being very sure who you are and what you want and all those things you know and really coming out of this space no longer in this space of this darkness in these subconscious throws that keep you stuck bound you know in this false imprisonment of uh, what could possibly go wrong, what you think is not going to be okay, what you think is not going to be right kind of thing. Like completely disconnected from that. Right, completely disconnected from making anything, um, moving from a space of materialism, right? But instead, um, choosing a path of connection, seeing things true, You know, utilizing um, what it is that you do to uh, really support your purpose, right? What it, who you are and, and what your soul is embodying. Now you're ready to take that first step, do what it is that you need to do to make life real, but you have to... Um, not be making up stories. You cannot be feeling like a victim by any means, right? Of course, sometimes things take longer than we expect them to, right? So we can't get in that space of victim consciousness of feeling like that. Um, oh, this is, I, I'm, I'm doing the wrong thing or these people got this to say about me or you know, I'm feeling guilty about whatever it is, the decisions that you have to make in order for to to pull you up out of this like these two cards really go together it, this is eight of voices which is the eight of swords right eight of swords has a lot to do with victim consciousness this can also uh speak about um feeling like that you need to do a lot of things on your own right and if you are feeling that way that is you being a victim like oh i can't work with nobody and this that and the other but it's like no that's the devil <laughs> That's your devil telling you that something is something that it's not, right? So it's like, unbind yourself, take the blindfold off, see things for what it is they truly are, for what they really are. Get out of the habit of believing your thoughts, right? And we, we just, in a place where we have grown to be accustomed to believe in our thoughts and our thoughts are not always correct because sometimes they are <clears throat> the mind goes rapid right so what is really true what is really real you are the creator and you utilize your mind to do this outside of whatever you know handy things that you have to do you know but this is this is like magic that song what i guess that's an ariana grande song that mad it's like magic i don't know how it go i've just heard it in passing but um that's what this feels like all right coming out of uh not concerning or worrying about these dark spaces like there is no shadow involved here okay because uh, you have something to celebrate this is three of emotions right having a good time connecting with people who you resonate with, um, connecting with people who are like-minded, like you, soul, tribe kind of energy, right? And really know that if you end up getting, being around connections that uh, make you 
or have you feeling like that um, you can't speak up or um, just anything negative? Like, know that it starts from with you. Like, where is this reflecting from within you? And what can I change, right? How can, um, what part of this am I seeing this of myself, right? That I'm feeling like this is being thrown at me, right? But more than anything, having a reason to celebrate, having a good time, really enjoying life, uh, really coming out of that space of no longer feeling like a prisoner, I guess. <laughs> bound like you can't do what it is that you need to do because somebody's stopping you something stopping you something blocking you that's not necessarily the case that cycle is dead and gone granted it might come up again at a later time in reference to something else but it's not here right not this week okay so what else is here at the bottom you got the empress so you're having a good time you feeling good, you have you're connecting with people, giving and receiving, feeling the love, you know. Yeah, wow. You choosing the right direction. Fire sign. What else is here for my fire sign? The card flip over. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So we have decay, and decay is a rebirth, basically, like the old is being swept away, right? Because this new light is, is coming out, but first all of this has to go, right? So what is no longer working, it's dying off, you're going to be able to see. It's going to be very apparent, right? Because it's going to bring up those thoughts of that, that whole victim consciousness space, right? Or that whole... Um, this is not working for me or, you know, I feel defeated, whatever kind of thing that stops you from um, choosing the direction it is that you're going to go. It's going to be very clear, right? Because the, the dead is going to fall at your feet so you can sweep it away. The light is going to be here. And when you see this light, celebration commences, right? You are, the bottom, we have the hero's journey. Okay, so what part of the hero's journey are you on that speaks about you up leveling, right? With that decay and that coming out with it at the same time, um, you are up leveling in, you're leveling up in um, consciousness, in ways of being, of who you are, like really connecting with the truth of you and operating within that as well. Okay. And it's like these things aren't just getting brushed under the rug. They're literally being removed. Pick up the wrong card. So there may be some moments where you need to take a break. Like when things start moving very quickly, because it feels like that they will. So that you can see for what everything for what it is, um, you know, balance, pull back, let the ebb and the flow be seen, right? The rest and the movement, everything, the masculine and the feminine. So we have Nilyani, um, Nilyani, desire. And she is in the house of conjurers. So you are conjuring up your desires, right? Go figure with a magician coming out here. Yeah, and at the bottom, it's because you're seeing your worthiness. That worthiness, the emperor's and hero's journey at the bottom. So you're seeing where it is that's what's really worth your time, where it is that you need to be invested in. Um, and... and all of these things coming together is allowing you to be able to um, just be like, okay, just giving things away so that you may be giving stuff away. Maybe you're getting rid of some old clothes, and some old devices. I reveal my truth. And you're being who it is that you truly are. 
I am being comfortable and confident in that so that you can feel free to roam, feel free to live lightly, you know, willingly facing your shadow so they can be integrated and transmuted. Didn't I say I was seeing some water? That's kind of like the water I was seeing. Like it had those levels, right? So self care for this week. Make sure you're drinking a lot of water, getting outside as well. Because you are seeing things very clearly now. <laughs> All right, and again, we got a gift at the bottom. Everybody's receiving a gift. Everybody's seeing their gifts, it seems, right? And moving forward in a way that feels really good, okay? That um, is letting what you want to commence, I guess, is the word. I can't, my mind, my mind. All right, y'all. So, fire signs, those are your messages. I hope that those bless you. Um, if so, let me know. And yeah, I will see y'all really soon. Um, please be sure that you like, share, and subscribe. More than anything, like and subscribe. Um, and comment if you're feeling chatty. That way, I know that you guys are uh, benefiting and would like to see more of these videos. So, yes, I will see y'all next time. Y'all have a wonderful week. Bye for now.